Yo, what's up guys, Sean Cobra here of Performance Functional Training. In today's uh, video session, we're gonna go through something that's quite prevalent in uh, Western society these days, and that is upper cross syndrome. So what is upper cross syndrome? This is basically where we're tight through uh, certain regions of the front of the body, okay, tight through other areas of the back of the body, and then we're going to be weak on areas of the back, tight on areas of the front, all right? So we're making this cross. One area is tight, tight, Weak, weak, right? So why is this a problem? This then pulls your, uh, rolls your shoulders forward, puts your joints in a shitty position, and we also get this forward head position, all right? So uh, this is called upper cross syndrome. What we're gonna do today is go through some drills, some simple fixes for this, uh, so that we can uh, get, our, get our joints uh, realigned and address any imbalances that we have, all right? So what you're going to need is uh, a foam roller, I have a lacrosse ball here. Okay, you can use a baseball or something like that as well. I've got an old footy sock that I'm gonna throw that in later on so that I can throw that over my shoulder and get into those hard to reach areas around the uh, scapula. Okay, and then I've got a couple of bands here. Uh, I've got a thick green band, I've got a thinner uh, purple band. All right, so uh, the first thing we need to do is, or the whole concept of this is going to be lengthen what's tight, strengthen what's weak. All right, so. Uh, typically, we have, if we have muscle imbalances caused from uh, you know, our sedentary lifestyle, for example, we spend a lot of time sitting like this with our shoulders round and forward, looking at computers and things like that. So we spend a lot of time there, our body's going to adapt to that to try and conserve energy. So the muscles of the front, the pecs and the delts become short and tight, that rolls your shoulders forward. Okay? So what we want to do is lengthen them, lengthen them out. Okay? The brain is what controls the tensions of the muscle. All right, so if you spend a lot of time sitting there, the brain's gonna go, let's just hold that position so that we can conserve energy. We don't need to uh, expend a lot of energy, shortening, tightening, shortening, uh, sorry, shortening, lengthening, shortening, lengthening. All right, so we wanna dampen that signal. Think about a massage. When I go and get a massage, the whole idea is to try and relax, all right? So this is what we're doing here. We're relaxing those muscles by switching the brain off, dampening that signal. So we're gonna lengthen what's tight, primarily through the pecs and the delts here. Okay, and then uh, the muscles in the upper traps up into the neck, and then we're gonna follow the line of the scapula. Okay, so how we're gonna do that uh, is go through some soft tissue work using the foam roller and the ball. Okay, so that's the first part, lengthen what's tight. Uh, then we're gonna use these bands to uh, kind of pull the joint back into alignment. I spoke about this in my lower cross syndrome video, but essentially if the muscles uh, of the front of the shoulder become short and tight, Muscles in the back are weak, it's gonna roll the shoulders forward. Okay, that's now pulled the joint into a shitty position, right? So now your range of movement is going to be a little bit limited. So when we use a band, what we're essentially doing is pulling the joint back into alignment, taking the pressure off those muscles, pressure off the connected tissue, particularly the, uh, the ligaments and the tendons. All right, then we're gonna go through some activation work, uh, which is strengthen what's weak. Okay, so now we loosen this, we use a band to pull the joint back into alignment and then we strengthen the muscles of the back. So now the joint's moving freely, moving correctly. All right. Uh, so uh, one thing I want to talk about is that there's three components to getting your uh, shoulders moving correctly. All right. So the first component is thoracic extension, which is this here, putting the spine in a good position. So that's the first part. Okay. And then we have the... Uh, the scapular control, scapular control, scapular stability. This is our shoulder blade, all right? Every time our humerus, our upper arm moves, our scapula should move along with it, all right? Now, what happens if these muscles are short and tight, these muscles are short and tight, they're weak, etc. okay, so that scapula gets locked up. Now, you'll see people when they're rowing and pushing and things like that, they're shrugging their shoulders up, okay? And they're in this rounded position here. So what we wanna do is lengthen everything out, activate, pull that joint back into alignment, set the scapula in a good position. So now I'm creating stability that then allows my uh, glenohumeral joint to move freely with less strain. All right, so uh, this is called uh, scapulohumeral rhythm. Okay, basically every time our humerus moves, our scapula moves with it. So our scapula should retract, protract, come apart, elevate, depress, and also rotate depending on where my arm is. So basically that's what we're gonna be going through today, teaching you how to activate those muscles, get the scapula moving correctly so that you can get the right muscles firing at the right time in the right order for the rest of your exercise. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's go through some uh, soft tissue work. 
I'm going to use this lacrosse ball. What I'm going to do is you can use the floor here, okay, or I like to personally use uh, a rig or something like that so that I can get in nice and deep. So let's think about this line between my uh, armpit and my collarbone, right? That line on the inside is my pec, on the outside is the delt, okay, chest, shoulder. What I'm going to do is work through that line. We have the ball in here. I'm going to work through that line. Alright, I'm starting on the pec here. What I'm going to do is just raise the arm up, get a little bit of movement there, go and find tension wherever it feels tight. That's where I'm going to stop and spend some time. Now I'm going to roll my thumb in and down. I'm going to roll it back up. Once I feel like that releases, I'm going to shift a little bit. Come up, in, out. Just go play around with that position. Okay, follow that uh, pattern all the way up, then shift. Go and find another hot spot, then work on that. All right, I might spend a minute and a half, two minutes on that. Okay, then I'm going to go to the other side. Next, what I'm going to do is work my way outside that line through the delt. All right, I'm looking for the meaty part on the point of the shoulder there. I'm going to do the same thing. Find some space, find where that tension is. Yeah, roll the thumb in, roll the thumb up. Change position, change your shoulder angle. All right, I'm going to spend some time there addressing those areas. So that's some soft tissue work, loosening up the front here. Next, what I'm going to do is grab my foam roller. I'm gonna work through my lats, okay? Think about how often you raise your arms overhead throughout the day. Lats become short and tight if you rarely do that, all right? So, big muscles on the outside of the back, your big wings. What I'm going to do here, lay down in this position, same principles apply, okay? I'm gonna start down by the rib cage. I'm just gonna relax in this position, Take a couple of deep breaths. Chill out. Then I'm going to move my arm. Roll the thumb in, roll the thumb out, shift. Okay, I'm going to spend as much time as I need here so I can get that effect. The whole idea here is to try and switch those muscles off, dampen that signal. All right, so we want to relax. We don't want to be flexing in that position. That's the opposite of what we want to occur. All right, so focus on your breathing. Really try and chill out and relax into that position. All right. Uh, once I've done that, then I'm going to go into uh, some thoracic extensions. All right, so this is basically where I want to loosen up the muscles at the front. I'm just going to relax in this position using a foam roller. You can use a Swiss ball as well. Swiss ball is an excellent one to just lay on, let your arms fall out to the side. Okay, but I'm going to use a foam roller for this. I'm going to lie along the length of the foam roller. I want my head hanging off here. Okay, if this is uncomfortable, just shift up a little bit so that you've got a little bit of support for the head. Now what I'm going to do is just relax, focus on my breathing, and again, spend about two minutes here. All right, I want to open everything up, get my spine in a good position. All right, so now what we've done is we've loosened here, we've loosened here. Next, what I'm going to do is throw my ball in my footy sock, and then I'm going to work around the muscles of the uh, aligning the scapula. All right, so those muscles can get fairly tight, fairly short, hold a little bit of tension. So what I'm gonna do, throw my ball in. Okay, I'm gonna find a wall, and I'm just gonna throw that ball over, the, over my back. I'm gonna pull my arm across so that I open my scapula up. Now I'm gonna work through the line of my shoulder blade. I'm gonna start low, I'm gonna work my way up into my neck, all right? Same thing, I'm gonna find that position, find that tension, have a little bit of movement once I feel it release, then I'm gonna shift, then I'm gonna shift, then I'm gonna shift the ball up, all right? Uh, if you don't have access to something like this, you can quite simply use a barbell or uh, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, something like that, so you can get into those traps. So what I'm gonna do here, get into this position, try and find where that tension is. I'm just gonna grind into this position here. Again, focus on breathing, switch those muscles off, relax into that position, go searching for it. Okay, I'm gonna work right up into my neck. Right, uh, once I've done that, then I'm gonna go into uh, some band of distractions. Again, what we're looking for here is to create some space in the joint capsule. Okay, loosen those muscles off, pull the joint into a better position. So I'm gonna throw my uh, band up and over. Again, I wanna switch these muscles off. So what I'm not going to do is rip hold of it. I'm gonna try and re reach my hand through Turn these muscles off so I can turn these muscles off. 
All right, so hand goes through like this, band sits like so. I'm going to take a nice big step back. Left arm is going to go overhead. Left knee comes back to the ground. From here, I'm going to hinge forward. I want to get my arm overhead. All right, now I'm just going to focus on my breathing in this position. Relax, try not to get those muscles activated. Okay, now what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time rotating side to side. I should feel that right through the outside of my back, my big lat muscles. I might spend a couple of seconds there, rotate to the other side. For me, that's where I'm holding a lot of tension, so that's where I'm going to spend some time. All right, so that's the first one. I might do 90 seconds, two minutes on the left, two minutes on the right. One side's tighter than the other, go and work on it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that band to pull my joint back into a good position. All right, so arm goes through. What I'm doing here, arm comes up, elbows down. I'm going to step forward, get some tension on the band. Allow that band to pull that joint back. Rest, relax here. And focus on your breathing. Again, we don't want to be fighting this. We want to switch those muscles off. Allow that band to pull that joint into a good position. All right, so now we've gone through our soft tissue work, loosen those muscles up. Then we've gone through some band distractions, pull the joint back into good alignment. Next, what we're going to do is go through some activation work. All right, uh, we'll get to the band in a moment, but first thing we're going to do is just get those scapula moving. Very simple, it's gonna hold this four point position, quadruped position. I'm going to pull my shoulder blades apart, round out through the shoulders. Hold for a couple of seconds, then nice and slow, pull my shoulders down and back, pull my shoulder blades together. A couple of seconds. Go from protraction, pull the shoulder blades apart, to retraction, pull the shoulder blades together. All right, then I can play around with different positions here. I can raise my shoulder blade up, elevate, pull it back down, press, work through some rotation. The goal is to get the scapula moving freely. All right, so once the scapula moves freely to create that stability through the shoulder complex, then we can get the muscles of the, uh, the glenohumeral joint working correctly. All right, once I've done that, now what I'm gonna do is go into some activation work. I'm gonna use my band like so. I can do single arm, I can do double arm. Prefer preferentially, I'm gonna go double arm. All right, I want that band around about belly button high. So I'm gonna step back. Again, let's think about the three components. Chest through, shoulders back, spine in a good position. Shoulder blades down, away from the ears. We don't wanna be shrugging up here. Then all I'm doing is working through those scapular retraction and depressions. I might do five reps there. Feel the muscles working, hold that position, move slow, move controlled. You see my arms aren't bending here. All of that movement is coming from my back and my shoulders. All right, I'll do five reps there. Once I've done my five reps, I continue that movement, but now I continue that row, getting my shoulders in a good position. Stick the chest through, pull the shoulders back. I wanna work through all those muscles of the middle back. I don't want my traps shrugging my shoulders up. No good. All right, chest through, shoulders back, think posture, drive those elbows back. Now I've got some activations going on. All right, so those are my drills to help address upper cross syndrome. Uh, let me see what you guys want to see next.